Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so first and foremost, a massive shout out to British General because without this, it would not have happened, okay? So we are in this little mini rewire series. So today is a massive, massive day. Um, so those of you who have just discovered the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so. Um, turn your notifications on because at the very end of this video, well, this series, sorry, um, I'm going to be doing something for the client that I've never done before. It's something I've wanted to do um, for a long, long time. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm really excited about it. Um, so that being said, today is a bit of a major day so we are cutting off the main power for the house so if you haven't seen the previous videos i'll put the link above um, for those who obviously go back through the channel you can see all the other ones that have gone on so today we're cutting the power off for the original part of the wiring for the house because we've kept it going for as long as possible but obviously now is the time where we're at that awkward stage where we need to get it gone cut it all off um, so i have got a really really cool gadget which i'll show you in a minute um, which is allowing me to to not be as stressed as usual with it so right let's jump inside and uh, get cracking right so we're going to go in um, and we're going to go and get set up um, in here because we really really have got to get cracking so where we left it uh, the other week um, so last week so we didn't want to kill everything off for the house because obviously it was over the weekend. So what we did, we got our cables wrapped, all ready to go, uh, ready for like the light and stuff. So we've got the lounge, dining room. Um, so we've got most of our stuff ready to go upstairs. Same with the sockets. So Kean's just whipped all the floor up. So he's got all that up, ready to go. So then I'm gonna go downstairs. So the clients have also been busy because they've stripped all the, uh, off the stairs there was like cladding and stuff on there um, so we've got this old consumer unit here that's going to be coming off mounting the new board on in this situation this situation this location even so we're going to bring our cables up that way drop down back in there um, so I need to kill the power off basically now so then Kean can go around taking all the old light fittings and things like that down so we can rod them all through and uh, yeah it's going to be quite busy. Now in the house we need to make sure that we've got access for this, the stair lift all the time, um, fridges and freezers obviously if they go off it powers off for a longer period of time. So we've got this bad boy, okay? So we've got a power bank from VTAC. Um, this is the 1500 watt version. Uh, we've also got solar panels, which here, so they can be dropped outside, and then that can be charging via harnessing the sun's power um, while it's still obviously in use. So as it stands right now, I think I've got 25 hours worth of time for what I've got plugged in at the minute. So I've got wireless charging for my phone, drop that on the shop. We've got the iPad on the go, GoPro, and I've also got the other lights, and we can run extension leads out for your Wi-Fi. So it's a perfect bit of kit, really, in fairness. It's something that I've wanted to sort out for a long time. Um, so a huge, huge shout out for VTAC for, for sorting me out with that. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna run, if we need to, we're gonna run it out extension leads for the fridges and freezers. I will get some more information on how long these things last for on an average sort of the tellies and all that sort of stuff. It's a long, long time. They do different sizes, different, you know, outputs and all that sort of stuff, but obviously we've gone for that one. Um, but yeah, so I'll get you set up on time-lapse so I can get cracking and get pushing forward because it's gonna be a bit of a big day. Okay, so we're in Harry Potter's cupboard, um, cracking on. So we've got the board mounted on now, so we've stripped the old cables out from this location anyway. Um, so we've got the new tails in, and we're now gonna go through, start putting some of the RCBOs in. So at the minute, I've just done the one knockout, so we've used uh, a different grommet strip um, that you can buy on an online retailer. Um, I've always used this, to be perfectly honest. But as always, another BG board going in, uh, again courtesy of, of British General. 
Um, so I think what I'm going to do, because this is an old, so old, uh, hopefully you can see that. So this is an old lead gas line as well. So I want to make sure that I don't go anywhere near that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring the cables down, down this corner here, and then swoop them in. Um, and we're going to clip direct, so they're all going to be on the surface. Um, I, you know, you could put them on. Um, in some trunking and I understand why people go you should put that in trunking but we're not going to on this one because there's so many more to come in and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use banding strap and tie them all all back um, to it um, so we've got our main earth bond in so that's that's in ready to go so we've got the gas and the water to go in but I might put an MET further down uh, down here it is very very tight as you can imagine so Kian is let's just take you upstairs and show you what Kian's up to Ooh, speak of the devil. So it's very dark, as you can tell. There's, there's no power. So Kian has been very busy. So he has been getting all the old stuff off. So all the old lights, fittings, things like that. Dropped them all down. Um, getting them all ready to go. So somebody on Insta... Um, yeah, so somebody on Insta commented and said... I already got all that cable out. First, first and foremost, that was the first job I'd have done. Well, if you did that, you'd be an idiot. Um, the reason why I've not done that purely because this was on Friday, we are now on Monday, and if I was to come in day one and with the client's ailments and age and all the rest of it, that wouldn't be very good, would it? Been taking all those cables out. So there's a reason behind everything. So this is the other thing about socials that you see a snippet. Uh, there is always reasons behind it. So we've left all the cables in. So everything in the house has all been powered up as it was before. And today, you see, you see, there is a plan. So today that's all going to be took out. All the old rubbish is all going to be gone get out of the way and we can then concentrate on making sure all our stuff is nice and neat and all the rest of it. So there is a plan and I understand why the guy said it, but he was wrong, massively wrong. Um, just wanted to point that out because that is people jumping to conclusions and thinking they know it all uh, and they don't. So they are rant over. So we're going to go downstairs. Um, Kian's now working through taking all the lights off. I'm going to get the RCBOs in and start dressing some of those cables down. So we've got the boards all on now. Uh, I'll say all of it, it's actually mounted up and all the rest of it. So I've got the cables in, um, and we've just got one circuit that's energized at the minute just so we can get some sort of power going on. So Kian's been cracking on, 
get in with that one. So that socket down there was one that we couldn't get to because we needed the power off because the cable was coming straight up that way. And then he is then cracking on with getting that one because there's a, it's that wall light up there. So that wall light has then got the trunking run all the way through. So once that one's on, we can then get the ground floor um, all energized. It was a bit crime watch like that, isn't it? Um, we can get all that energized. So we've got start. I've started getting on with some second fix on the lighting side of things and trying to get as much on as we possibly can uh, and all test it out. So yeah, but that one's been a bit of a pain, Kian, isn't it? Yeah. So that one down there um, in that room's been really awkward um, but the other side note is on that has been absolutely wicked I mean, such a godsend uh, in fairness making sure that we've got some power and then when we had break we could turn the telly back on for uh, for the customers that's a bit of a bonus isn't it okay so that's us done for today um so we've run some temporary supplies into the kitchen um we've got the downstairs lights are on we've got so the board is on and powered up so we've got the lights on down here which is the main thing and the chair is all up and running so kian's just tidied up upstairs for us and that thing the power bank has been an absolute godsend uh, that has today um so yeah so we're pretty much pretty much sorted downstairs so all the sockets are on downstairs the sockets are on upstairs um, yeah, so really successful day. Um, but like I say, thanks to BG. Like I say, this this whole series is sponsored by those guys. Um, so they, if you haven't tried one of them fortress boards, I know I keep banging on about them, but they are wicked and I mean wicked um, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so and we'll be back tomorrow to get the lights on upstairs get those all rattled out uh, and then start looking at getting the kitchen sorted but uh, but yeah thanks for watching like I say, make sure you subscribe and like to the channel and uh, yeah see you tomorrow